hey guys welcome to the youtube channel if you're new here it's ndagiri thanks for coming so in today's video this is something that i've been seeing and i was like you know i cannot ignore this let's first watch the video and let's talk about it <music> So guys as you've seen a lot of the times when i was growing up i would see a lot of organizations into uganda when we were in schools they would come and take pictures of us so it was just fun sometimes they would bring white children to our schools to take pictures have conversations we would receive donations as well from white people because they are the majority of people that i was seeing with organizations but I never understood why. And sometimes they would take us pictures in the playground without shoes and having fun as children. But as I grew older, it got to me. I was like, why is this happening? And this is the thing that I am mostly pissed about. We want to come out as, as Africans to blame Western media on how everything negative they put a black face. Which is true because if you go on Google today and search for any disease, you are basically 100% going to see an African child's face. And this is also a problem. A lot of Africans, when they come out and they want to start out a charity organization themselves, they are going to post the same things as white people do. There is no way we as Africans are going to come out and start blaming the West on how they portray us when we are also doing the same thing. When a video is taken in the village or in a slum, that video is going to grow and go viral. But when you come out and show something positive, the video will not move. The question is, is it the algorithm or it's us as people that are not engaging with content that supports or improves the image of the African continent? I remember one day, it was funny. I was walking in town. I saw there was this white guy. I was about to say something, but I just kept myself. I was like, you know, I just keep quiet. I saw him take a picture of a kid come on when you come to africa you're going to see a lot of things this kid was selling guinness and she had a basket on top of her head and this guy took pictures of the kid without permission without any questions but then is it the fault of the white person or is the fault of us as african governments or us as africans if you look into big medias like cnn or Al Jazeera or bbc you're going to see journalists going to the slums to take videos from there. The question is, whose fault is it? As Africans, when you see these people taking those videos, do you intervene or you just keep quiet and ignore and just look at them? But then we are going to come out and complain on why the Western media portrays Africa in a shitty way. This is what I want us to understand. As someone who is oppressing you, as someone who is in power, there is no way I am going to do anything to benefit you because I will still want you to be under my control. We as Africans, as black people, let's stop pretending like one day a miracle is going to happen and the Western media is just going to talk about good things about Africans or black people. Let's look at the reality of what things are. Their job is to keep everybody under their control. As people who have been in power for generations and generations of time, they are never going to do you justice and empower you and do things that are going to help you take them out of power it's going to start from us as an african stop taking videos that are degrading your continent because you're not helping you're adding on the problem let me call esther what do you think when are we as black people as africans mm. going to say enough is enough like unicef you've been using our kids faces mm. for a very long time whose fault is it Okay, as black people, what I think we can first do is to cancel any African celebrity who still helps them to do the thing that they've been doing for a long time. And I mean, World Health Organization, UNICEF, these big companies, mm -hmm. they have so many African celebrities, influencers. But is yeah. it the influencers' fault or celebrities' fault? No, 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 no. 
should should we not hold the African person accountable first? Because if us African people will say no. Yeah. Anytime you need someone to give you money, because now you need to bring up your tactic of oh, some kid somewhere are poor. It's always the African child. Africans get videos and record themselves or kids in slums, kids looking really horrible. The worst. In a sense of we need charity. So like, is it a mental thing that they think when they do that, that's when they will get charity? I will. I, I might need charity. I might need some help right now, but I don't have to look ugly and like. Yes. Does it help though? Do Ooh. you guys think when they put an African child with the ribs out, with the runny nose, does it help pull in people to bring in money? I think it works because you have to play with the emotions of the people like, oh, you know, when you see that video and you're like, oh, the kid is suffering. Oh, my God. And then now you're like, ah, let me give which for me in my head at this point i'm just tired of seeing videos of like kids in the slums and like they have yeah, mucus really, i'm, I'm really like oh, it's just scheme. another another money scheme no but some people don't know that it's a money scheme no, that is the is. problem i mean for how many years you've been giving money to who and unicef right now you find black people they want to play it like the white man because nobody they're gonna get this funding from white, white people so they're like ah, white people have been doing it so let me go do it should i come out and say it's white people's problem no, no no no, it's a problem of black people african people because now instead of us changing the narrative we are making it further. yeah it's we make, making it a pandemic let it go ahead so why are we still complaining that is the western media's problem when you are doing it also mm. as an african why are we still playing the victim card it is it's true like when i came out and i started talking about empowerment talking about issues that matter to us i could have just come out and started you know yeah. i cannot do this because white, white people, people are not letting me do this because no white person is stopping you from making a video to empower your fellow black people That's true. i don't think so is there anyone forcing you to make a video to empower us africans no so why are we still blaming white people at this point yes they do things that do not help or favor us mm. but what do you want them to do do you want white people to start writing petitions to their fellow white people to stop putting african faces on everything that is negative on this planet that's what we want no. like we want white people to start making laws to empower black people for them to be down and lose power is that what we are expecting mm -mm. Is that what you expect that no, is going to happen? It, it can't happen. Guys, let's have a really serious talk. That's if a white person comes in that manner, when they grew up their whole mm. life seeing that people that look like me are starving mm. and don't have food, do you blame them when they go and do the same thing they are seeing on media to actually prove that mm. is what is happening? I will not blame that man. You know who I will blame? Majority of these white people when they're taking these videos, there is a black grown-up around them. And they're like, <laughs> ah, I'm soon go, go ahead. <laughs> Take pictures. Take pictures. Hey, 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 start sneezing also. They should bring us money. Is it our fault though? Are we all programmed in that way? I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to put out a persona to impress anybody. Mm. The fact is, as you, an African-American, a black descendant, mm. thought that Africa was bush, poverty, mm. no food, drought, all those things. What do you think the other people that don't look like you mm. thought? Mm. Africans, we really have a lot, a lot of work to do because until when we start getting our cameras and talking about what really our countries are, how does it look like? You know, in Kampala, there's also just not even just in Africa, not every country has nice places only. Yeah. Every country has the ugly, the good, the middle, middle. Every African today, when you ask them what image they had about America, it's always it's always the movie glitz and glamours. After they come there. <laughs> Do you understand? When are we going to stand up as black people, as Africans, and write petitions that enough yes. is enough? Because I see a lot of black people in the diaspora mm. writing petitions about a celebrity to oh, be cancelled. Yeah. Mm. 
why can't we as Africans also start writing petitions of enough UNICEF, enough using African faces, enough slavery movies, enough mm. trauma on black people, enough. Mm. When are we going to say enough, enough, but we want to come and say where well, we are still in colonization? No, we have the power. Because now in 2023, I believe we have the power. Can we start using that power? As you talk about it, I'm going to email UNICEF. <laughs> because it yeah. needs to start from somewhere. Yeah, we started. I'm tired of seeing our faces on every shitty thing yeah. happening on this planet. We are more than that, guys. <laughs> guys, that was it for today. I even called Esther in the video because this was heated for me. I feel like maybe I was overreacting. No, you were not. Now we need to change things. This is the time to change things. And I hope, guys, you like the video. What's the way forward? Subscribe. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next video. video. Bye.